Hi. So, hi. Okay, so I'm just gonna get into... Okay, so anyways, I was watching the Science Channel today, and they were talking about space, and then it was at the end of a show, and they were, ta and they were just talking about the sun, and how it's gonna implode in like 500 billion years, and then that was like the end of the show, and then there was like a commercial for Morgan Freeman's show, because Morgan Freeman has a show on the Science Channel called through the wor- it was like in the wormhole or through the wormhole hole with Morgan Freeman. And then, so he was talking about that and he was saying how in their next episode the sun was gonna burn out and, you know, what are we gonna do about it? What is science going to do about it? And can we colonize another planet and something like that? And I was just like, hold up, science channel. Didn't you just tell me that the sun wasn't going to burn out for like another 500 billion years? Like, do we really need to worry about that now? And then, and then I was also like, honestly, honestly, science channel. You were the science channel. Be real with me. In 500 billion years, won't the human, humanity kind of have been extinct for like a couple hundred billion years. I mean, honestly, I mean, you could be real with me, Science Channel. You don't have to sugarcoat it. Just tell me, like, isn't, you know, isn't that probably what's gonna happen? And then I was thinking about it in the car, and I was like, how would, how would this all go down? How would human population go extinct, really? Because, like, you see all of those, like, movies about the apocalypse and like it's either like a disease or like really dramatic weather or people are just going crazy or something and I was like but how would this really go down and I was thinking about that and then in the show they had also been talking about hydrothermal vents like a little bit because they were talking about life on other planets and this British guy got into the Alvin submarine and he went a mile underwater but they said it was a mile, and I was like, I don't think that was just a mile if you're going to the very bottom of the ocean floor and you are seeing hydrothermal vents. I don't think that was a mile. Just a smidge more. Maybe. Maybe. And I'm just saying. Anyways, they're talking about hydrothermal vents, which you probably already know, but I'm going to tell you anyways, because just in case. Yeah, hydrothermal vents are basically they're like... is very plausible except for the rain I don't know what would, what's, maybe for some reason it won't rain like all the water in the atmosphere won't just turn into clouds and rain like it probably would have I don't know we're gonna we're all think mm, mm, that's the one thing well not the yeah so anyways there's that and ta -da! I don't know I wasn't yeah so I know that probably wasn't that interesting but it's been like a month-ish, and I wasn't going to talk about graduation or summer, so I was like, I'm going to tell you about my almost science, because probably none of that was even remotely realistic. 